Like always, doing some gathering can help you clear this quest successfully. Here's another edited map I made. The most important ones in my opinion would be Potions and Bug Nets in Area 1 Sonic Bombs and a Shock Trap in Area 2 You'll need a pickaxe for the Shock Trap A Pitfall Trap in Area 3, which you'll again need a pickaxe for A Max Potion, which you'll need a Bug Net for, and pickaxes in Area 4 More pickaxes, Power Juice, and Mega Potions in Area 5 And Mega Potions and Demon Drugs from Shakalakas in Area 8 you can, of course, feel free to gather for anything else you may find helpful. For example, whetstones in Area 2 or Psychoserum in Area 7. Or a map and some paintballs in Area 6. There should be a link in the description to this image, as well as a couple of guides not made by me that go into more depth if that's helpful. I highly recommend you take out these eye of prey before fighting the Nagakuga. Now that they're taken care of, we can focus all of our attention on Narga, which is good because we're going to need all of our attention on Narga. Unlucky. I wasn't expecting him to do the prowl. As a rule of thumb, never throw a sonic bomb if you're not already anticipating that he'll do the delayed prowl. You can get him to delay his pounces and have a longer prowl stance by making sure you're not too close. You can definitely get a feel for it, but just try to stay a little away before he picks an attack. Then if he prowls, it will most likely be the delayed one. Whenever you're close to Nargakuga, you only really need to worry about a couple of moves. His tail whip is the most dangerous. Most often, it's a relatively safe to stand right in front of him because he likes to side hop so much. Blocking his tail whip is important, but it will deal ship damage to you as well. Keep that in mind. When he's far away, assume one of three moves. His tail spike throw, his charge, or his pounces. When he pounces, he'll most likely do this ending attack, which will leave him open after doing it. You can try to back hop through the tail if you want, but I'm not that great at it, so I don't. Now that he's not enraged, I equip my sonic bombs and look to make an opening. This is the pattern you want to look for. He side hops, you're far enough away, he prowls, you can throw a sonic bomb. Just like that. Then he gets up, usually hops to his right, then roars. As you can see here, he can also hop to his left. When using Gunlance, move while blocking to restore stamina, and the blocking attack slash upward poke is extremely safe as it goes right into a block after. When Narga enters a prowl up close, always assume he will do an instant pounce. That big jumping attack always has an opening at the end of it. Remember, usually, when Narga Kuga turns towards you, unlike other monsters, you can kind of punish him for free. As long as you avoid the tail loop. When Nagakuga tail slams while enraged, he will slam it down a bit to his right. Because of this, you want to favor his left side. 
It's a very dangerous attack, so you always need to be ready for it. It's pretty consistent. He side hops, run away, he enters prowl, you use the sonic bomb. If you're too close when he enters his prowl stance, he'll pounce immediately. You'll get a feel for it. Also noteworthy is he takes more damage to his head when he's enraged, so on top of this free damage, think of it like it also increases our damage output. I'm sharpening and using items now while I can. I use the ration now just so I don't have to later. Unlucky. He almost never bites there, but you can see it doesn't do a ton of damage. You can also do the spike throw very close if you're close to him, which can be pretty dangerous. As long as you're not directly in front of him, you should be fine. That sucks. I thought I was far enough away from that second swipe. I use the push and right under him since I know it's most likely that he'll do a side hop before an attack. I did a slight movement away from him there to avoid being hit by his arm. The lunging poke is a good attack. It does more damage than a regular one. The tail swipe unfortunately has a ton of recoil, so after you block it, you should try and reset unless an opportunity presents itself. While Nargakuga is fast, he often precedes his actions with other non-dangerous ones, giving you a lot of times to do things if you know when. Notice which direction I'm hopping when I see him start to do the tail slam.
I went to the wrong area, lol. Lol. You don't want to attack the tail after a slam too soon. There's a bit of a lingering hitbox. It sucks. He's almost dead. I'll try to run and sleep. I'm gonna restock a bit on Mega Potions in the meantime. I'm gonna be real here. I forgot he comes to this area to sleep. I thought it was an area 7. I know that Gunlance may not seem like a smart choice against Nagakuga, but with a little knowledge of the fight and some game mechanics, it's actually pretty consistent. Good luck. You've got this. 